Hey, 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 Tiffany Satchel, your 1111 coach. And I want to thank you for joining me, and I want to thank you also for joining Patreon as well. So with this vid, what I want to do is I just want to give, I know some of you probably already know what EFT is, and some of you probably have no freaking idea what EFT is. Um, you probably saw me in videos, doing demonstrations of it, and then you came over here and you were like, you know what, let me see what's going on, right? So you want to understand what EFT is, all right? Um, and I want to help you with that, okay? All right, so let's begin, all right? So EFT is basically an energy psychology, which stands for emotional freedom technique, okay? It's sort of like acupuncture, but without the pen. It's an age-old holistic Chinese healing and coping mechanism that aims at helping the participants to manage stress, anger, anxiety, depression, and so much more using the energetic system within our bodies, okay? It's really safe, and it's so safe that just about anyone can do it, and it can be effective when used correctly as well, okay? Um, the technique to help you to clear away blockages, hindering your energetic meridians in the body. Okay. I'm going to go over what, what meridians are as well. When these passages are blocked with stagnant or negative energy, we experience discomfort in our relationships with others. We experience dis-ease in our bodies and, um, our experiences are horrible, okay? Our experiences are horrible when we have negative energy. We experience discomfort and we experience dis-ease and these experiences create chaos and havoc in our world. And it also causes stress on our, on our emotional world. It drains us spiritually and mentally, all right? So it, it down, like when we have negative emotions, right? It actually, it works against us because we won't be able to cope with life and life is always changing every single day. It's always changing every single day. And we always have to wake up with the willingness to be okay with, with, with change. We always have to be okay with change. We always have to be ready for change. All right. And the way that you could be ready for change is to just you know, just, you know, to just adapt the mindset that things are always changing every single day, all right? These are one of the laws of the universe. The law, one of the main laws of the universe is change. Like, things are going to change, all right? And I, I, I also talk about the laws of the universe with, um, with the tier 1, 11, 11. So if you want to know about the laws of the universe, then you definitely want to join me on that tier. That's where that information is um, is being given. Or you can join my Facebook group. I do I I, I do share information on my eleven eleven phenomenon group. Um, I'm gonna well I I will be sharing information. If you want to join that group, you're welcome to join that group. But but the bulk of the but the bulk of the information about laws of the universe goes to my clients. And if you want to see the content that I actually share with my clients on the laws on on the laws of the universe on universal laws and symbols like this, then you definitely want to join my eleven eleven tier. Excuse me, my one eleven eleven tier. Okay. All right. So when these passages are properly cleared, all right, when our energy meridians and our, and our, um, and all, and all of our, 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 our energetic channels are clear, beneficial and resourceful energy can freely flow through. All right. Then you'll be able to experience more desirable demonstration. All right. You'll be and and not only will you be able to experience more desirable demonstrations, you will also be able to experience these demonstrations on a more consistent and frequent basis, spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially, almost immediately. All right. So by tapping lightly on designated points along the face and body, coupled with a verbalized script, zoned on a specific problem, summed up with a positive phrase. And that's called a basic recipe. One can balance the energy within your body system and relieve all kinds of pains in the physical body, including illness, 
um, emotional discomforts, allergic reactions, phobias, and so much more. All right, this technique is really fun. And when practiced on a consistent daily basis, one can see results in as little as 30 days or even sooner. Okay, so let's talk about let's let's talk about the points. All right, so let me share the points with you. All right, so the points that I use that you will see me using in my videos is over the eye, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, over the chin, over the collarbone, uh, over the heart, or under the arm, top of the head, and then also side of the hand. This is called karate chop. And then I also do one where I teach them is specific ones where I actually teach them to where where we actually uh we we uh clap we bang our wrists together all right to really get it into our system all right so it depends on what type of EFT that I'm doing all right so those are the points that I use and um EFT is not hypnosis however you can use it to hypnotize yourself but it's not hypnosis all right it's totally different you I mean you can you can call it self hypnosis depending on how you use it and the reason why I'm saying that is because hypnosis is something totally different from EFT, all right? And I'm not going to get into that because I'm not a hypnotherapist. That's not what I am, but I'm just going to tell you EFT is not hypnotherapy. However, you it is, is it, you can use it to hypnotize yourself, all right? And, and the way I teach my clients how to hypnotize yourself when, and um, using EFT is to look in a mirror, okay? So that's a way that that's something that we use. We use the technique of hypnosis, but EFT is not hypnosis. It's not cognitive behavioral therapy or NLP. It's not prayer. It's not laying on of hands. It's not Reiki. It's not therapeutic uh, of therapeutic touch. It's not quantum healing or any other technique that would be considered similar to it. All right. It should also not be used to replace a licensed medical doctor. Because when used correctly, EFT can enhance one's life on all levels. I've demonstrated. I mean, I, 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 I've experienced extreme change, especially when I dropped my ego and decided to tell people that I actually do EFT. So that, that's when I really started seeing some changes with it. And then um, um, it can change your, it could, it could change, it could change your life emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially, like I said, like, like I said earlier. So you definitely want to seek professional help before beginning if you are unsure if this technique is for you, okay? And I cannot tell you if the technique is for you, all right? If you have been diagnosed with any type of mental condition, then please ask your doctor if you can do this EFT, if you can do EFT, all right? Because if you're taking medication, if you're taking some type of prescription medication, or even if you've just been diagnosed with some type of uh, uh, psychological issue, then just talk, just talk to your doctor before you start this, because this is energy work. And if you're using some type of pharmaceutical medication, you can see complications. I don't know about that because I'm not a licensed medical physician. I don't have issues in my body or issues in my in, in my um, in my brain, so I have not experienced anything negative from doing EFT. It's only helped my life, so I can only speak from my perspective. But to be safe, if you under medication. And when I'm, I'm talking about medication that is that 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 like you know for psychological reasons, then please go see a doctor. Okay, when used correctly, EFT is fun, it's safe, and it's easy, and it's so safe that even children can do it. And aside from that, it is known to be extremely effective and very 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 inexpensive okay it's very inexpensive you don't actually need a coach to do eft you can actually teach yourself to do that eft that's why i that's why i'm a wealth coach that teaches people how to use eft because anyone could do eft like you know anyone there's um there are tons and i mean tons of eft practitioners out there that are wonderful at this Nick Orton is one of them. Margaret Lynch is one. Um, Donna Eaton is one. So these are the names that you want to look for. Um, 
Brad Yates is one. These are the ones that I know. That's the ones. That's the ones that I know um, that are great. And I do know a couple of other ones that I can't, I can't think of their names, but there's there's a couple of other people that I do follow. As a matter of fact, one of them is on um, is on a uh, Patreon, and I'm like so embarrassed I can't even remember his name, but he's freaking awesome too. You know, so there's tons of people out there that actually teach EFT, and it's and I'm t it's like it's like it's just it's just freaking great, man. It's fun. All right. So how can this tool actually help you? Okay. So we are comprised of energy, right? Actual electric currents. Just like the currents that's in your house that's giving you electricity, that's giving you light, and that's powering your washing machine and you know, powering your AC. We have the same, we have electrical currents that are similar to what is, you know, to the currents that's in your home. All right. And this energy or electrical current is like your helper in a sense. All right. It warns you when you are touching something that's too hot or when you cut yourself or bang yourself up. That pain you feel is really an electrical current being sent to your brain, signaling that something is wrong and that you need to react or respond to something. It's like do something. You know what I mean? And for it, for, and for, and for instance, you would let's say this, let's say that you were in a car, right? You jumped in your car and you're headed to work and you're running late. So you're rushing a bit and you spill hot coffee all over your hand. You're drinking a coffee, you're rushing, and now you spill the coffee over your hand. That sensation that you felt after your brain signaled to you that your hand was burning would cause you to say, ouch. And that's all that the that's all that your brain wants you to do. Your brain wants a signal, it's sending a signal to say, did you feel that? Okay, yeah, so we birthed for it felt that you know what I mean that's what your brain is trying to say did you feel that because I felt that did you feel that and then your response is like oh, okay yeah so you felt that too all right so that was the energy in your body and that's its main goal to signal to us what's going on around us and within us as well all right and it's not only it's not only pain that our signal sends to us all right. It's not only pain. You know what I'm saying? I signal, you know, these signals only, I mean, these signals not only, um, they do not only, you know, let us know what pain is. All right. It also lets us know when our bread or our cakes are done through our nose and which is which through our eyes. And each of our senses are attached to these energy or electrical current. All right. So this energy or electrical current Send a message to your brain through these meridians, okay? And they, these, and these are the, these meridians. This is a vortex, right? It, it, there's a vortex located right here, and it's a, and it's and it's attached to meridians, all right? Which can be likened unto an electrical circuit, all right? So basically, it's the roadway. The currents flow through throughout the body's system from every single point. So here's a point. 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 And then you also have points in your joint. You know what I mean? Like we have, it's like so many of them. All right. So we don't, but we only tap on the main one. All right. And, and, um, all these points lead back to the central zone, which is the bank brain. All right. So now when stagnant energy or negative energy gets clogged in these meridians or vortexes, the specific places that we tap on, these are the vortexes, all right? And they are attached to meridians that go to our brain. And all these meridians, like they flow out through our body and they and they are connected to our hands and they're connected to our feet as well, all right? And I'm going to teach you some things about that as well, all right? So all of these meridians that's flowing out through our body, they're all, like they have like these specific vortexes, all right? And that's what the acupuncture, they use these specific vortexes. All right. Not only like I'm, I, I'm, I'm only showing you some of them, but they, you, there's other points, you know, I mean, like my grandmother gets acupuncture. She lets them stick it in her eyeball and all of that. We're not going to be tapping on our eyeball. <laughs> We're tapping around our eyeball, but I'm just saying like, there's, there's, we have tons of energy vortexes. All right. So when stagnant energy is clogged in these meridians or vortexes, the specific places that we tap on, that's when we feel uncomfortable in our bodies and around others. So other areas of our lives begin to suffer because 
we just don't feel well. So here's a great picture of when your energy is out of balance and how it feels. And it's so funny that I actually, because I was actually planning on doing this video like days ago, all right? And But I was waiting for the first to actually put this video up. And today, what happens? Oh, my God. I actually watched my roommate who was not feeling well today, all right? He had, you know, he's... He, He's on medication, kind of, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's not feeling well because he's on medication. And I didn't realize, you know, he's, he's an older guy. So I didn't realize that when he actually left and went to the store and came back, he had his shoes on the wrong feet. And he didn't realize it because he's taking medication, right? So he didn't realize. He went to the store, to go get him something to eat, came back, and I'm looked down, and I'm like, your shoe's on the wrong feet. And that just fit right in there. I said, didn't it feel funny? And he said, no. And he said, no, and it probably didn't feel funny because I'm all, I already don't feel well. And that's what it was. It was like he already didn't feel well, so he put his shoes on the wrong feet, and that didn't even bother him because he was already because he already wasn't feeling well. So here's a great picture of misalignment, and I got to see it. So this is what I mean. Like this is like I mean I can't even believe it. It was just like I never talked to him about this, and then I actually saw it happen. He couldn't even believe it. We sat. He sat down on the end of bed. I walked to the room. He took it off, and he looked, and he was like, I didn't even realize that I had my shoes on the wrong feet because he already wasn't feeling well. All right. So if you can actually do that, right, if you can actually remember when you were a child, right, because that's most of the time when that happens, like that, this is like an isolated situation that made me laugh and that let, that was also a confirmation that this picture that I was getting ready to present to my followers is actually so in alignment, you know what I mean, because he sat there and said the same exact thing that I'm getting ready to, to, to express to you, all right, and this picture of alignment. All right. So now when you were a child, did you ever put your shoes on the wrong feet? And if you didn't, then I would like for you to stop the vid and go and put your shoes on the wrong feet so that you can understand where I'm coming from. All right. And of course they fit. They fit my roommate. But they. It's like when you put them on, right, don't they feel funny and uncomfortable? Now, to him, they didn't at the time because he was already feeling uncomfortable when he put them on. He already wasn't, like, in his right mind. So that didn't even matter, all right? But when you were a kid and you did that, right, they might have felt funny. They might have felt uncomfortable. And maybe you but you, you probably were still able to play with the other kids for a little while. But you couldn't really engage as much as you would have liked because of the uncom uncomfortability of having your shoes on the wrong feet, all right? And if no adult or no kid that was smarter than you came along and told you that you had your shoes on the wrong feet, just like what I just did with my roommate, you would know. And you would probably just go through the entire day just like that, with your shoes on the wrong feet, all right? And that is precisely how it feels when your energy doesn't circulate properly, like you have your shoes on the wrong feet. And tapping is an effective and fun way to align with your core frequency and get back in your body and out of your head. All right. So I love you with that agape kind of love. And if you want to, if you want to learn more about EFT, I teach open-minded people like me how to use EFT to improve their lives and create more abundance and stability and, and, um, and to help them to do what they love, okay? I help my clients to decipher exactly what their gifts and talents are and how they can use their gifts and talents to support them in life, okay? So that's what I do. All right, and I love you with that agape kind of love. Please follow my Patreon and become a supporter because I'm giving out good information to the ones that support me. They're basically getting coached. They're basically seeing my content before I give that content to my clients so that they can help me to actually make this content better. In the process, they're actually getting free coaching. All right. So this is so join my Patreon. It'll be a, a great way for you to get free coaching. You'll be able to engage with me and you'll be able to let me know what your problem is. And even though you 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 know you you might not be a client, you'll still be able to engage with me. You'll still be able to get support or whatever healing that you might desire to up level. All right. So I love you. Peace. <laughs>